beautiful blessed souls. Welcome to Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're new, welcome. First and foremost, I want to thank you all so much for the love, the likes, the subs, the comments, the sense of community on our channel. It really warms my heart and I love you all so very, very, very much. If you're new, a little bit about myself. I'm a twin that is in physical essence of my twin. After separation, we came together, we separated, and we navigated back together. I'm a messenger on this journey, meant to debunk, debunk the myths, the untruths, and just simply come to you with the truth. We want you to find the light of oneself and ultimately the light of each other. I primarily channel everything in my journal each day. There's energy that I, that I, I don't know, inhibit, I guess is the best way to put it. And this energy, again, is energy and messages that I'm meant to share with you. This is a gift. Gifts are, gifts are meant to be given, and the gift back is your trust and, yeah, your trust. So um, today, um, when I was in, um, I have an Epsom salt bath, and I meditate in the bath every single day, and these profound messages come to me primarily when I'm meditating and grounding energy, and one of the messages that came to me today was um, the masculine energy cannot hold back the tears. So they're sobbing. Um, they know that this is a love that they've never felt before and they have deep regrets and they don't know how to fix this. So they absolutely know and they are crying um, uncontrollably, but this this crying is good because it's, it's healing and you re release, I think, 32 toxins when you cry. So these toxins come out. So feminine energy, you may have those bouts of uncontrollable crying. It could be a trigger from your twin. The numbers that I've seen prevalently is 444. 444 is a sign of a spiritual awakening. I've seen 1111, 1212, 11, just crazy, crazy signs and things in the last couple of days. And I always see the dove just before I'm about ready to come and do a video. And a dove for me is a sign that I'm definitely a messenger on this journey. But if, you, you know, a dove also rep represents love, peace, harmony, it's maternal, and and, mate, and doves mate for life as well. And I feel like for some of you, you're getting that harmony and that peace and that balance within. So that's what I have for you in terms of energy channeling. I strictly, I strictly flip the cards out of my own entertainment. It always resonates with the energy and or what's in the journal. I do four cards, four being my birth number, and I primarily channel masculine energy, and I do what's in their heart space. If they could say anything to their beautiful feminine, what would it be? And the overall energy of this blessing of a connection. So I'm going to get started. Um, again, the cards always resonate with the energy that is within, and what what resonates resonates what doesn't doesn't just pack it away in your pocket not everything will resonate I'm gonna ask for three cards please that's three I'll take it if you want. it's not sorry folks I'm gonna ask for three cards please it's three I'll take it and it looks like it may be so there we go there's the three Again, everything always resonates. Nature, um, the masculine energy is spending a lot of time in nature, grounding the energy. There's been some karmic um, closures and cycles ending, and they're just getting out in nature by themselves, primarily. They're spending a lot of time alone, and that's why they um, can't hold back the tears, because they're just reflecting all of the cycles and the lessons that they've learned, and they're doing this while they're in nature, and it's beautiful. And um, again, this uncontrollable sobbing and tears, um, divine feminine, they know that you're the, this miracle that came into their life. And since they met you, so much has changed in your life, in their life. And that's, you know, getting rid of this karmic toxic cycles, learning these lessons and just being a better person. And they know it's you. They absolutely know. They're like, what? This, this person came into my life. They're putting it all together. They're put, putting that puzzle together and they're piecing it all together and they know. And not only that, this is a miracle of a, bl a blessing, this connection. You know, um, 
I don't, when I, when I started this journey, I had no idea what twin flames were. I just knew it was a love I'd never felt before in my heart. I don't know if everyone in this, in this world, in this 3D world has the beauty of this miracle, but it, it is truly, truly a miracle. And the, the, the masculine energy knows this. Awakening, um, I just basically just said that with number 444 and balance. And I also said that too with the dove. So balancing, harmony, awakening. As you awaken, you, 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 the further you, you go in the awakening process, the more balanced your masculine and feminine energy becomes, the more balanced person you become. And they're getting that balance. But the awakening is frightening. And because you wake, awaken. So you awaken to so much around you. I could speak for as to the awakening for hours and hours and hours. Um, everybody's awakening is different. It's not the same. But as you awaken, that's when you're like, you know, I'm clearing this. I'm going to say shit out. Uh, I'm just not working for me. And you just keep moving forward. But it's as frightening as hell. Because it's not voluntary. It's forced. And it truly is a miracle. Because not too many people in this world will have this beauty to awaken to the truth. It's beautiful. I love it. So again, just different type of message. And I'm going to ask for four cards, please. So this is what's in their current heart space. I'm going to ask for four cards. Thank you. This keeps coming out. I love that. I cannot believe this. <laughs> See, again, I do for my own, my own uh, entertainment. When we met, there was instant soul recognition. My soul is in shock. This has been coming out. Um, either someone's not hearing the message or you're meant to come to hear this message today. Sometimes the cards will keep coming out. Um, I'm, um, these are divinely guided messages. They're not manipulated. They're meant to come out the way they're meant to come out. It's true. When you met, in whichever form you met, there was instant soul recognition. Because your souls have been looking for um, each other for your entire being in 3D, in body. Blood, flesh, and bone. And your your body in the 3D world has been navigating, looking for the other half of your soul. And it's you have this instant soul recognition, and it's beautiful. Um, it's difficult for me, too. It's absolutely difficult for the Divine Masculine. They are having um, some dark moments, tower moments, however you um, resonate. They're, they're going through some darkness right now. Um, it's very difficult for them because they know and they they know that you're the one and they mess things up and they don't know how to fix it and i'm going through a four spiritual awakening i'm confused be patient with me when you go through the awakening it can cause a lot of crying too it truly does because you don't know what's happening it's not voluntary and you spark the creativity within me that lie dormant for so long. I love you for inspiring me. So many of them, as they awaken and they move forward, they are creative geniuses and they're peeking into that creativity that lie dormant for so long. And then it's beautiful. They're sparking, they're, they're, their soul is on fire and I love that so, so much. Um, so if they could say anything to the beautiful feminine, what would it be? I'm going to ask for four cards, please. Thank you. this 
I swear, if you've been following me for however long I've been, um, I've had this channel for um, almost three years, or I can't, I, I can't even recall. I cannot believe this. Okay, um, this Twin Flames cards ra rarely comes out. There's so many cards in this deck, and the Twin Flames rarely comes out. I don't know why it's that way. Um, I just believe it's just the message is meant to come. Challenges, um, Divine Feminine. The masculine is having some challenges right now um, with with the 3D world. They're deeply confused because they know um, that you're twin flames and they are confused as they go through the the awakening and they want you to know that they're, they're confused. They never meant to hurt you. Um, this is one thing about the twin flame dynamic. Twins will never hurt each other. They trigger each other. They trigger each other to heal and sometimes there's some uncomfortable moments and blow ups and explosions between the two but it's never intent like it's never intentional like you never will want um they're deeply confused um because they do not know how to fix this they're confused because they're going through this forced awakening and there, there's challenges um but it's part of the journey um rest the masculine energy is resting and grounding and getting into nature, um, but maybe this is a message for some of you out there that you're not getting a feminine energy, you're not getting the rest, your restlessness, and you're not sleeping. You have to house, your, or you have to, the, I can't think of what I want to say right now, but the, your temple has to be rested and nourished, that houses your soul. And some of you, the masculine energy is asking you to please get some rest. Um, and alter alternatively, they're resting as well. And twin flames. Um, the masculine energy wants you to know that they know that you're twin flames. Um, they stumbled across this somehow, some way, because the love in their heart, they, they cannot explain. It's very confusing to them. Masculine energy and feminine energy are two different types of energy. And the masculine energy, unfortunately, the ego gets in the way of the love because they're, they cannot digest or fathom the love that they have in their heart. They think it's make-believe or it's not real, but they know that you're twin, they know of twin flames and they're doing research and they're getting to the bottom of it. But some of you that may be questioning it, that is your, that is your message right now, right here. Uh, as I said, that card rarely comes out. So if you're confused about the twin flame dynamic, or if this is your twin flame, that's confirmation that it is. And yeah, so much beautiful. And again, different type of message. If they could say anything to you, what would it be? I love this also very much. So I love when that twin flame comes, card comes out. I love this so much. Okay. Okay, so the same if they could say anything, our love flows through our soul energetically and effortlessly. It's absolutely positively one hundred percent true. When you come to each other you have that soul shock recognition and it just you just flow together. It's so effortless. It, it's magical. Um, I've been yearning me, yearning for you my, my entire life. That sense of longing is gone. Exactly. They're coming to all of the truths within. And primarily because they're getting out there and they're doing what's good for them. And it's beautiful. And many of them are speaking to you through music today. Um, your song may come on. There may be a song that you never even heard and you feel like the lyrics are speaking to you personally from your twin. Um, it's crazy how that happens, but listen to the lyrics today. Listen to the music. There's messages there and I'm trying to find myself. Absolutely. They are trying to find themselves. And as they peel away the layers and find themselves, they're getting to the truth more and more. They're getting closer and closer. It's beautiful and I love it all so very much. Okay, so now we have overall energy of this beautiful miracle of the connection, even though sometimes it doesn't seem that way. Um, 
And again, if you need any, you know, messages or, you know, advice, send me an email, BradyTwinGemini69 at uh, gmail.com. And this is four, so I'm going to take it. And again, it always resonates. Okay. So let's just start here. So grounding, exactly as I said, um, grounding energy. Grounding is, sometimes we get sucked into this black hole of low vibrational energy. It's usually the people um, that want to suck your good energy out of you, and it just leaves you drained. Um, get out into nature and ground your energy. That's why it's called grounding. Put your feet on the ground. Bare feet if you can. Hug a tree. Do whatever you can. Get rid of that low vibrational energy. It works. It truly does work. Lay on the grass. If you have grass. <laughs> I don't know. Do anything out in nature. It, 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 it has the most healing element to your body and to your vibration. It truly does. I love that so much. And cycles. Um, cycles are ending. But there's one important message. And I don't know who this is for. It's just coming to me now. Um, you're perpetuating the same cycle and it, it, as long as you keep perpetuating the same toxic cycle you will not have momentum forward so maybe get out into nature do some grounding of energy and maybe those answers will come sometimes we get caught in these cycles and we don't even know that these cycles are the cycles that are not working for us you know oops so yeah just just get out sorry about that folks just just get out into nature and, and figure it out like just as an example um one of my children was always interfering and you know it's like lovingly I had to step away and but I didn't it just came to me it's like when I was out in nature it's like this person obviously my beautiful child that I love so much um is interfering so I had to remove that cycle that toxicity out of my life denial Again, this denial is having to do with the masculine energy right now and sobbing and having like, you know, they denied the, um, the bond, the connection. And they're in this, this temporary low vibration of denial and prim primarily denial of themselves because they never came to with the truth. They, they knew that there was something there when you first connected, but they walked away and they they were in the sense of denial, as I said at the beginning, because it's masculine energy. And they're like, there's no way I can, this, this love is artificial. How can I feel this way for this per person so quickly? It's because of the instant soul recognition, the soul shock, all sorts of things. But your ego wants to protect your vulnerable heart. Even though the ego is the nemesis on this journey, it also is, you know, it is the nemesis because it doesn't allow you to feel what you truly feel at the soul level. And lastly, ascension. Um, part of the awakening is ascension. Uh, we both are ascending. Um, tw twins are ascending together simultaneously, going to higher dimensions. As you awaken, you ascension to a higher sense of yourself. And again, I could go on and on and on about that too, but I won't. <laughs> and lastly, what is just a different message? The overall connection of this beautiful, beautiful love. So I'm going to ask for four cards. It's too many. I'm going to ask for four, please. Thank you. for two cards please thank you okay so again overall energy um, removing all the toxic people out of my life and I'm um, ending all karmic cycles that don't fulfill my soul so the masculine energy has in that um, karmic ending cycle, they're moving forward and they're removing all the toxic people 
I do have that message that keeps coming out to me and it's for someone, whatever resonates, resonates, what doesn't, doesn't. There's a cycle in your life that you keep perpetuating. It could be addiction. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm just getting the message that you really need to do some deep, deep soul searching. And, and you know what it is, but your, your inner guide is telling you you need to end the cycle, but your ego is not allowing you to. So, please. Um, you've rattled my soul. I'm terrified. I'm a mess. Resonates with confusion, confusion, soul shock. Both of you, on, honestly, are a mess. Um, when, when you go into physical separation, it's like your heart was ripped out and stomped on. Um, and it's, 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 it's a difficult journey. And you, when you go through this awakening and you go through the, all of this stuff, you're, ter you, you're, you become terrified, um, because you rattle each other's soul. But it's a good thing. I lie awake manifesting our love. I promise, I think this is more feminine energy right now. Um, I just feel like you're, you're doing the right things. You're, you're doing awesome. You're doing amazing. And you're doing the right things and you're manifesting love and that is um, right now um, very very high in the universe in right now is manifestations so it's very very powerful so right now is the time you should be manifesting and it's also beautiful and I love it also very much so that's what we have there for twin flame Oracle and now I'm gonna do some wisdom Oracle and just feel like we need some wisdom here again feel free to reach out to me on email um, I do get hundreds I do respond it just takes some time some weeks I'm gonna ask for four cards please if it's three and it's too many I'm gonna ask for three cards please so I'm taking that, and that. So I've got breathe, and breathe is to me is to to meditate and breathe. This is primarily for the masculine because they're in that low vibration, because they're crying and healing, but they need to breathe and need to maybe go to the sea which is um, nature, go to water and, and ground that energy. And, and it's, it's for feminine energy too. Breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale four times, exhale six times. Um, and just, just count the breathing and listen to some meditation um, music and just get into that loving, unconditional vibe, unconditional loving vibe. And that's beautiful. It keeps coming out. So nature is the key right now and poised and a change in the wind. And what I have for this is the masculine energy is poised. What, what does that mean? They've, they've ended talk, uh, karmic cycles. They've put all of the toxicity behind them. They're clearing karma. They're poised. They're poised to move forward with their life and they're poised to move forward to the um, feminine energy. And there will be a change in the dynamic of this connection. Positive, beautiful change. So that's what I have for you today, folks. I want to give you one healing card. Um, because it is a journey of healing. Um, it's not the Cinderella story that's out there, you know. Um, I truly wish it was, and I truly... Um, you know, when I went through it, that, when I went through it with some of the darkness I ever, extreme darkness I ever went through in my life, and uh, pride. So, here, and that resonates with masculine energy because pride is exactly the masculine energy that prevents them from allowing the love that they feel for their divine feminine. And this crying, I can't get this out. This crying, you know, is them overcoming their pride and coming to the truth of how they truly feel. But they have too much pride to to allow that love in their heart in. 
So if masculine energy, let the pride go and just let the love in your heart move you forward. So beautiful message as always. You only get loving vibes here. Um, <laughs> that's what I mean. You know, there's some, there's some, unfortunately, some parasites out there that bring you into this kind of low vibe, you know, with their messages of, I don't know why, um, they would want to bring you to a low vibe. Um, but the more you invite that low vibration into your life, or the more you go, I don't know, stumbling across it, the more you're going to bring it into your life. And it's, it's you're never going to have momentum forward, unfortunately. You have to get rid of all that low vibe stuff. Okay? So, this is a favorable time for matters of the heart, a time for, of inspiration and healing, a relationship blossoms, your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into reality. This stuff is not manipulated. I just said manifesting is so powerful in the universe right now. And the, I feel the feminine is manifesting this beautiful love and this beautiful physical um, momentum forward. It's all beautiful and I love it all so very much and I love all of you so very much. And if this resonates, kindly hit the notification bell for future videos, thumbs up, comment. We love to hear your comments and subscribe. Thanks very much folks and have a beautiful, beautiful day.